Hello teachers, welcome back to the video series. In this video, we're gonna focus on creating assignments and entering grades. So we're gonna be spending a lot of time in this first tab. Uh, the other videos focused down here in the settings, but now we're gonna go up to grading. As I click on grading, I have a few things that I wanna talk about here. First, assignment list, that's at the top of the list here. Assignment list is going to list all of our assignments uh, in a vertical format, but the view that teachers are most used to here is the score sheet. So when I click on score sheet, uh, this is the view that most folks are used to. You have the course grade and then the assignments would be listed in columns across the screen. So this is more of a horizontal view of the quarter. Now. To create an assignment, I'm gonna click on the blue Create button up at the top of the screen. I'm gonna select Assignment, and I wanna go over these tabs along the top and also explain a few new features that are unique to PowerTeacher Pro and that did not exist in PowerTeacher Gradebook. So I'm going to create my first uh, homework assignment, which I'm gonna call my journal. In my category, if you're using categories, I'm gonna select homework. I'm going to choose points as my score type, and I'm gonna use the default for that category, which is 10 points. I'm gonna count this in the final grade, and I'm gonna set a due date that's actually a few weeks before recording date so that it actually shows up in the quarter. Now, um, there are not too many things that are unique to this assignment, so I'm gonna go across now and talk about the new feature for um, the Students tab, and that is to be able to select certain students to receive this assignment. Now, this is particularly powerful if you have students who are on homebound or who have accommodations. If you want to extend due dates for assignments, you can make an assignment for students uh, in small groups, you can individually assign things, you can remove students from an assignment, um, all from this student's tab. Now, in this particular situation, I'm going to only assign the journal to a select number of students. So I'm gonna turn off the assignment for a lot of them, and then I'm gonna pick a few at random here. Going across the Standards tab, uh, even though we turned this off in Settings, this will still appear here. That's just a little bug, a little fluke in PowerTeacher Pro, or at least this version. Um, but we won't pay much attention or use the Standards tab in the Assignment box. Publish is the last tab when we're creating an assignment. And Publish refers to the function of allowing students or parents to see this on their student or parent portal. So uh, if I wanted to change when my parents and students see this assignment in the online gradebook, um, I can determine a specific date. I can say it's only going to show up you know, a day or two before the due date. So there's a little bit of flexibility here as to when those assignments are published. The default of immediately is controlled by your category settings. So you can change this default if you wish, just like you can change the default for the number of points for uh, your homework category. Like anything else we've seen so far, we do need to click save and close anytime we create a new assignment. Now, Pay attention to what just happened on the screen here, and I'm gonna blow this up just a little bit. We assigned this journal to only a select number of students. Notice how there are gray areas, and I cannot click to add a grade for the students who are grayed out in this column. So this assignment is not going to appear for uh, Filbert or Elijah or Goodluck. Now, to enter a grade for this point-based assignment, notice how on the right-hand side, uh, I have a black bar that appears. There's a couple things that are new to this particular uh, grade input system. Of course, I can click a score into those boxes. I can also use my keyboard. And notice how all of my flags that I used to use 
uh, are appearing now as buttons on the right side. So I don't need to necessarily type in particular codes. Now I can click these off to the side. So if I am uh, going to mark this particular assignment late and add a zero, um, that flag corresponds to the little icon over here. One of the newer features, uh, we're going to use the fill options. We used to have a fill that was vertical, um, so you would fill from the top all the way down. Uh, now we also have a fill for left to right. So um, if we had multiple assignments, that fill would go across. Uh, the thought there was that with Phil, if we do have a student on medical leave, for example, or other um, extra circumstances, uh, we can fill all of those blanks with uh, one of these flags or perhaps with one of those scores. While we're on the scoring page, it's important to also mention that scores aren't the only way to communicate with parents and students through PowerSchool. You also have options down below the scoring area to add a small comment. Now that box can be expanded by clicking on the speech bubble up here at the top. Notice how you have a limit of 4,000 characters in this comments box. And the newer feature to Power Teacher Pro will be the comment bank. Presently I can't demonstrate this as we're using a test server to record this video right now. But as District 7 merges its data into PowerTeacher Pro, you will be able to access dozens of preloaded comments that you can simply um, scroll through, click. You can even favorite those to appear up at the top of the comments list so that you can reuse certain ones uh, as you see fit. Just as an example, I'm going to paste a comment in here. Notice how there's a little speech bubble that appears up at the top right corner that indicates that there is a comment in that field. That comment will also be previewed down here in the smaller comment box when I go back to the grade entry button.